Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and I have a thrifting story for you. So let's set the scene Friday night. The only way you should spend your Friday night, going to the toy store. I went to Walmart for the first time in a while, and my main mission was to find the Battle Camo Battle Scout. Because I saw online that they were very cheap, so I was very hopeful that a $23 Battle Scout might be mine. Um, I was also looking for the accelerator from the uh, Dart Zone line. They had neither. I was disappointed. On my way back, I stopped by Toys R Us, and there, out of curiosity, I caved and picked up these two guys. The modulus barrel attachment and the Rathbolt. Both very interesting. I could talk a little bit about them, but I'm not going to. Now, on my way back from Toys R Us, I was driving past my local Goodwill, and I wondered, should I stop there? It's about 8.30. Goodwill closes in half an hour. Give me a sign. I don't know what the sign was, but I took that exit. I walk down the toy aisle, and I see some familiar sights. I see the blue, orange, and green of a reactor. Fascinating. I see there's a couple of them. Look around, the Vagabond, Maverick, uh, a Boomka Blaster, nothing too crazy. But I look a little bit more. There's more reactors. There's more reactors. That's a lot of reactors. How many reactors are there? And so I pulled them out. 17 reactors. Obligatory joke. I did not know how to react. Did any of them have the balls? Just one. One had one lone ball. Thanks. So I was wondering, what do I do with these? I have actually been looking at getting more reactors and having them as uh, objectives in games, like flags you capture, or instead of carpe balls, you use these to capture. Should I get them? Should I just get some of them? Should I just take the ball and leave? I bought all of them. 17 reactors. What am I doing with my life? Each one was $1.99, so not a terrible price, but I know there are people who wouldn't pay that much. So the total was a little over 33 bucks. Ironically, when I went to Toys R Us and got those two things, the total was also just around 30 bucks. Why did I do it? Why did I get these things? Besides the fact that I, I have an idea of where to use these, um, and they were, I felt, cheap enough to use them as props for games. Why did I do it? The reactor's not that great of a blaster, and there were no balls for it. Just so many blasters in one spot, I thought it was hilarious, and as I'm checking out and talking to other people, they're like, oh wow, that's a great find, they all look like they're in really good condition, and uh, how old are they? You know, they wanted to know more, like, why is this person buying so much of this thing? It must be really valuable. I just see such a trend of people will put other people down if they don't think that they thrifted something for the right price. I'm not saying that I can defend this as a good purchase, uh, but I think that everyone can get whatever they want from a thrift store. Sometimes you'll find better deals than not, and you know I wouldn't go out of my way to buy a 5.99 Maverick because that was that was something that was there. There was a 5.99 Maverick. Um, like that's too much that I would pay for. But if someone did pay that much for a Maverick, I wouldn't say that they have officially messed up on life. Whatever you find at a thrift store, if it speaks to you, you should get it. If it doesn't, you have no reason getting it, and no one should force you to. I have also found my fair share of rare or sought-after blasters like the Supermax 2000 or an Ultimator with Captain Xavier and Walcom. So I've seen my good things, but that doesn't mean that you can't pick up other things that you want. Last time I went thrifting, got a Tech 3 deal with it. Get what you want. Don't let other, other people's judgment put you down. Don't be afraid to pick something up just because you want it. Like 17 reactors. This is a PSA from Brett on nerf thrifting, I guess. Have fun. Don't spend too much money like me. Or do. It's your choice. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.